Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Elmo Channel In this video, I'll have a collab with some people and we are going to do presentation about subjects that we have learned from our lecturer This video was under purpose to fulfill the task with our lecturer Ms. E. Indrahmawati and whom given to us about describing the material in the paragraph of Korean drama text in The Soft Power of South Korea. And the member of this presentation is Saiho Hirom as first presenter, Muawa Nahnur Rahman as second presenter, Raden Anissa Indrianti as third presenter, Dina Maulia as fourth presenter, Triwidya Chandra as fifth presenter, and me, Muhammad Almer Gazian Akbar, as the last presenter, also your moderator today. If you want to know more about them, you can click on the description below to go to their channel. Alright, before we start, as always, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please like the video if you like the video, just dislike if you dislike it, and let's not waste any more time. Let's hop to the Presenter one, time is yours. Okay, thank you, Mr. Almer. Um, I am Sir Gugram. I'm the speaker one. I'm here. I just I like to explain about Jiren and Asmari from. The first, Jiren. Jiren is a verb that ends with ing and functions as a noun. For example, making, streaming, uh, bullying, watching, improving. Jiren can be used as a subject or object. We can also use gerund after preposition, or we can also use it as a noun explainer. Okay, I think it's clear about gerund. Um, the second, auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb is a verb that is used for explaining the main verb or the ordinary verb. Auxiliary verb can be one or more than one, but there is only one ordinary verb in the sentence. Okay, example. We can look at the example number six. Has the television series has transformed into the miniseries format. So in this example, we can see that there are two verbs here, right? Has and transformed. To know which one is auxiliary we can look at these verbs which one is explaining and which one is explained the answer is has is explaining and the transformed is explained so it means the auxiliary verb is has and the ordinary is transformed okay uh, the second is at the example number two we can look at the sentence too. Have been translated into multiple languages. So in this sentence, there are three verbs. It means two of them are auxiliary and the other one is ordinary. Why? Because as I said last time, auxiliary can be one or more than one, but ordinary just only one in the sentence. Same as the previous example. Here, we will look for which verbs are explaining and which verb is explained. The answer is have been are explaining and it's translated is explained. So, the auxiliary are have and been and the ordinary is translated. Okay, I think it's clear if you're still confused and need more explanation you can ask us in the group so thanks and let's welcome our second speaker thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh let me introduce myself my name is Mawana Rahman you can call me Uun here I will explain content words and function words in paragraphs 4 and 5 okay above the are colored paragraphs I will explain each of these colors Red, red for Jaren, yellow for suffix, dark blue for preposition, light blue for question, light green for pronouns, 
orange for determiners, purple for conjunction, and dark green for auxiliary verb. Hello everyone, my name is Erani Sandriati. I am presenter 3. I will deliver paragraph 6 and 7. In paragraph 6 and 7, there are function and content words as you can see above. Determine green, conjunction tashka, blue preposition, red auxiliary, chocolate pronouns, purple suffix orange alpha, yellow precious, synthesis dunker, gray geron, dark purple noun. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself My name is Dina Mungia You can call me Dina Here I will explain content words and function words In paragraph 8 and 9 Okay, above there are colored paragraph I will explain each of these colors Black for a noun Red for a verb Red heart for phrase, most green for adverb of time, light blue for determiners, white for conjunction, light green for preposition, purple for pronouns, dark green for auxiliary verbs, dark blue for question word, and Gray for qualifier. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Trivia Chandra. Content words is the words that are clear and help you understand uh, the formation of sentence. Function words is words that are not clear but also can help us understand the structure of the sentence. Jadi contoh dari content word content words di paragraf 10, 11 dan 12 itu yang noun uh, Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea and other Asian countries itu di paragraf uh, 10. Ya, kemudian untuk yang function words saya ambil di paragraf 11 sebagai contoh R, S, N, on and eat. Jadi hanya itu sekilas contoh dari function word and content words di penjelasan paragraf 10, 11, 12. Uh, jadi penjelasan tentang content word sama function word itu sekilas sudah saya jelaskan. Terima kasih sekian dan terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. All right, here we are. We're gonna do the last segment of this presentation. I'm gonna tell you guys about determiners, conjunctions, preposition, and pronoun. The first is determiners. Determiners is a word that used to referring an object in sentence. Determiners contain four types. First is an article that is a, an, and the. The second is demonstrative that contains that, this, those, and this. The third is possessive pronouns that contain my, your, his, hers, their, its, her, our, ours, whose, and which. And the last one is quantifiers that contain some, both, any, a few, many, a lot of, much, a little, enough, several, none, and all. This is the example of determiners that included in paragraphs 13, 14, and 15. You can check on it. Alright, for the second one is conjunction. Conjunctions could be called a word connector. It used to be connect some words from different words to make a sentence. And it contains and, for, but, yet, 
neither, either, are, so, although, even though, however, though, because, as, before, after, nonetheless, and nevertheless. You can see the example from the paragraph 13 and 15 right here. And the third one is prepositions. Prepositions give more information of noun that contain in sentence. Prepositions contain if, on, in, between, with, by, without, at, through, over, across, around, into, within, and off. This is some example from the paragraph 13, 14, and 15 right here. And the last one is pronouns. Pronoun is a word that stands in noun and it's included they, she, he, it, you, we, him, her, your, our, their, my, me, anybody, anyone, somebody, and someone. And you can see the example in the paragraph right here. And that's the end segment of our presentation today. If you have any question or any suggestion for us, you just can type it on the comment below or you can ask it directly on the class session. That's all about it. And once again, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please like the video if you like the video. Just dislike if you dislike it. And thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you in the next video.